Welcome to the Daughter Arise channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you news and content surrounding childhood sexual abuse. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and do so as any support is much appreciated. Hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of any new videos and please hit the thumbs up if you like the content that I share on this channel. So today I just wanted to talk to you about being kind to yourself. One of the biggest things that I have struggled with on my journey from recovering from sexual abuse and going through the healing process was being nice to myself. I don't know why at times I struggled with being kind to myself, but I do recognise where it stemmed from and that is in my childhood. I remember after the first time my abuse happened to me, I remember how I felt the shame of it, I remember how I felt dirty, unworthy, not worthy of love, not worthy of anything good. It built up this perception in my mind of who I was and what I deserved. Now I've done a lot of work over the last 30 years to get to where I am now. And you would think with all my achievements, being an author of two books on the specialist subject of sexual abuse, being a wife and mother, successfully overcoming many challenges, being a businesswoman, a visionary and everything else that I wouldn't struggle with being kind to myself. But the truth is, I do. Sometimes I'm way too critical of myself. Sometimes I'm not forgiven of myself. I belittle myself for making mistakes. And that's not healthy. You can't find peace in being like that. At times, admittedly, it has affected my relationship with my husband because when I'm critical of myself and hard on myself, I have a tendency to sometimes be hard on him. And that's not fair and that's not right. But it's something that I'm continuously working on. When I get in this place sometimes, when I get stuck with being kind to myself, I go to counselling at times when I need to. My relationship with Jesus has been a great help. I'm really hard and critical and unforgiving of myself. But God isn't critical and hard on me. He's loving and he's forgiving and he's caring and he's compassionate. And he doesn't treat me the way I should be treated. He treats me with love and compassion and with acceptance. So I need to follow suit with that. And I'm learning that from my relationship with God, slowly but surely. Some things have been easier to get over than others. Some things have been easier to deal with than others. At times, I still find this a real challenge. But, you know, considering where I was even four years ago, where I had really low self-esteem, low confidence to where I am now, I'm so thankful. I'm so happy that I don't have those same issues that I had then. Just today, I was on King's Road in Chelsea, one of my favourite places to go. I happened to pass the mental health clinic that I was in 20 years ago. I just stood there for a few minutes just looking up at it and reflecting on how far I have come. I need to give myself a pat on the back more and if you are somebody who struggles with being kind to yourself you need to give yourself a pat on the back it's no easy thing to go through the experiences that any of us have gone through and still be trying to make a better life for ourselves it's something that I wrote about in my book choose life which is an empowerment workbook for survivors that sometimes the reason why we struggle with being kind to ourselves comes from frustration after being beat over the head and being rejected and ostracized and belittled and humiliated and betrayed by so many people being condemned by so many people the last thing i should be doing is condemning myself through not being kind to myself we have to learn to be our own biggest supporter. You may not be where you want to be right now. You might not be the person you want to be right now. You may not have the life you want to have right now. Be kind to yourself. Reflect upon how far you have come. Do something today to celebrate yourself. Just learn to embrace yourself on your journey. Show kindness to yourself today. 